Welcome to lesson 26. We're going to talk about more complicated equations. So far we've done equations where we've only had a variable on one side. Now we're going to talk about equations with variables on both sides. So we're going to follow a certain set of steps when we do these. So step number one is to simplify by adding like terms. And remember, terms are what we call the individual components of an equation, like 3x or 4. Those are terms, and that should be an S here. Number two, we're going to eliminate the variable. My pen will work right. I think I'm trying to go too fast. On one side. Number three, we need to eliminate the constant term. on the other side. Number four, we solve for the variable. Okay. So let's try these steps out on example 26.1. So here, let's put it down here. All of this right here needs to be written in your notebook. This is important. Those steps, you're gonna use them over and over and over again. So 26.1. All right, here we go. 3x minus four equals 5x plus seven. All right, so first things first, we simplify by adding like terms. Do we have any like terms on this side? No, we have a constant and we have a uh, constant with a variable. Same thing over here, we don't have any like terms on this side. All right, so step number one, we can't do it. We skip it, go to the step number two. So now we eliminate the variable on one side. I don't like to do negative variables. You can if you want, but I prefer positive variables, if at all possible. It makes the process a little bit easier. So I'm going to subtract 3x from this side and 3x from this side. This will cancel. And then that's going to leave a negative 4 on this side and a positive 2x plus 7 on this side. So now I need to do step number three, eliminate the constant term on the other side. So we'll do that by subtracting seven from both sides. Those will cancel. This will be negative 11 equals 2x. So now we just have these two factors, a constant and a variable times each other. So we're gonna factor out the two by dividing both sides by two. These two cancel. This is a prime number, we can't divide it by two, so our answer is negative 11 over two equals x. That's as far as we can go with that problem. Okay? All right, if you have all of this down, uh, you can proceed. If not, pause and I'm going to clear the page, uh, but take the notes while you're paused, and then I'm going to clear the page, and we are going to move on to 26.2. All right, 26.2 is the same problem as 26.1, but in this, this time around, we are going to solve uh, by putting the variable on the left side instead of the right side, okay? 
So instead of moving 3x, subtracting 3x from both sides, we're going to subtract 5x from both sides first. So minus 5x and minus 5x. This cancels. This becomes negative 2x minus 4 equals 7. All right now we're going to add 4 to both sides. This cancels. So we have negative 2x equals 11. Okay, we're going to unfactor by dividing both sides. This cancels. The uh, a fraction never has a negative denominator, so that goes up to the numerator, and it becomes negative 11 over 2. Same answer that we got when we did 3 to this side and 7 to this side. When we did 5 to this side and 4 to this side, uh, it's, it's the same answer. So the reason they did it like this in the book was to show you that it doesn't matter which side you put the variable on. You could solve with a variable on this side or with a variable on this side. It doesn't matter. You're going to get the same answer if you do your math correctly. Okay, And you might even want to check your work by solving it both ways. All right, let's do 26.3 and see what we get there. So let's start with step one. If you remember, step one is to combine like terms, okay? Or to simplify by combining like terms. So on this side of the equation, we have some like terms. We have a 3x here, and we have a negative x here. Remember, when we have a negative, we just drop in a 1. That helps our math a little bit. 1 is invisible when it comes to variables. Uh, 3 and a negative 1 is 2, because 3 minus 1 is 2. That's 2x two is what we have left. And we have a positive 2 and a positive 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. So we have a positive 6. So those terms are combined on this side. Now on the right side, we have a negative 5 and a negative 4. So we can say negative x minus 9, because negative 4 and negative 5 together are negative 9. Now we can swap the sides. And this is what I like to call swimming fish. We're just swimming this little fish over here and then we'll swim this little fish over here so they can be like they're the people that they're like. They're with their like terms. That's kind of what we're doing. We're combining like terms across the equal sign. But when we swap it out, we have to change the sign. So we're going to, let's move this negative x to this side. And the way we're going to eliminate it from this side is by adding x to both sides. Remember, that is a invisible one right? So they cancel each other out, and this becomes a 3x plus 6 equals a negative 9. All right, now we're going to swim this 6 over to this side. We're going to subtract him from here and here, so that uh, cancels each other out. So we have a 3x left on this side, and we have negative 15 on this side. So now we're going to unfactor or divide. We're going to unmultiply. We have, we know one factor is three. So we're going to divide both sides by that. These cancel. X equals negative 15 divided by three is going to be negative five. And that's our answer. All right. All right. If you do not understand the problems that we're doing, message me, ask me for help. I am at school from three to four every day. Um, so just, just say, hey, I need to stay after school and get you to help me with something. I am there for that. Um, let's move on. I'm gonna clear the page and we'll do 26.4. All right, I went ahead and put 26.5 on this page as well. I would like for you to pause the video and solve 
26.4 and 26.5 and when you're through solving those come back and press play and see what the result is. All right my chickadees I'm going to assume you have um, worked these problems already and I want you to note that I have done both steps in one here. So what I did was I for 26.4 I simplified step one simplified by adding like terms. So k that'd be 1k right 1k and negative 4 that would leave with a, leave me with a negative 3k. I have a positive 3 and a positive 7 added together. That's going to be a positive 10. All right. So now on this side, I had nothing to combine, so I just brought it down. So on this side, I added 5. I had a negative 5, so I added 5 to both sides, which made me cancel out the 5s over here. And before I completed my math, I went ahead and took my negative 3k and I changed it to a positive 3k for both sides, added it to both sides, which canceled it on this side. And um, then I did my math. 10 plus 5 was 15. 2 and 3 is 5k. So I divided both sides by my factor of 5 that I knew because 5 times some unknown number is 15. So if I divide by 5, I undo the multiplication, then I find out that 3 is equal to k, or that k is equal to 3. All right, so I repeated that process on 26.5. I had a negative 7n and a positive 2n. When I combine those, I have a negative 5n. So I simplified by adding those two like terms together. And then I had a positive 3 and I brought it down. On this side, I had a 4n and a positive n. And remember, there's always an invisible one there. So 4 plus 1 is 5n. And then I brought down my negative 5. So in order to solve, I, I swam my little fish around. So I moved the positive 5n over here by subtracting it from both sides. So negative 5n on this side made this a 0. On this side, it made it negative 10n. So then on this side, on the left, I subtracted 3 and subtracted 3 on the right, and that made that negative 8. So then I divided both sides by negative 10, which is my factor with n here. And in doing so, n equals 8 over 10, because a negative divided by a negative makes a positive. And 8 over 10 could be reduced by 2, by the factor of 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So my answer is that n equals 4 fifth. And if at all possible, I do want to see fractions fully reduced. Now that's fully reduced not turned into mixed numbers. Unless the question specifically says mixed numbers, you can leave it as a fraction even if it's an improper fraction. That doesn't bother me. Um, but you do need to fully reduce it if you can. All right, let's do another one. I'm going to clear the page. All right, and this is the last one, so let's just all walk through it together. So the first thing I see is I've got some like terms. So I'm going to simplify by combining like terms. So I have a positive 2 and a positive 7x. So that's going to be a positive 9x on this side. And I don't have any other uh, constants alone or whole numbers alone, so I'm just going to bring that down. All right, over here I have two constants or two whole numbers together. Um, so I'm going to combine them, and that's going to be a positive 15 and I don't have any more um, expressions or terms here with variables, so I'm just going to bring that down. All right, now I have one constant and one mixed term um, on both sides, so now it's time to swim fish. 
So I'm going to swim this 3x over to that side by subtracting it from both sides. Okay, and that cancels out the 3x on this side. So now I'm going to go to this side and I'm going to bring this negative 5 to the right by swimming him with addition. That cancels him on this side. So now if I do my math, I can say 9x minus 3x is equal to 6x. And 15 plus 5 is 20. So now I have um, two factors here that equal 20. So I'm going to unmultiply by dividing both sides by 6, which cancels the 6's and leaves me with x equals 20 over 6. Well, 20 over 6 can be reduced. We can reduce it by 2. So that becomes 10 over 3. And because 3 is a prime number, that's as far as we can go. So x is equal to 10 over 3 in this problem. So we combined like terms. We moved our variable and coefficient term to one side. We moved our constant to one side and then we were able to unfactor through division to solve for x. And here is the result. And that is all that we have for lesson 26.